Chronic pain in the last 40 years has doubled. We've never cut as much, we've never injected, never drugged as much, but pain's getting worse. I had been poked and prodded and tested on, shocked and night sleep studies and done all these things, just being told that it was all in my head for years. The more we do, the worse we're getting. So whatever we're doing isn't working. The math doesn't add up. I would see my life and I kind of felt like that I was just sitting on the outside watching a terrible movie. I thought for me it was hopeless. There was no answer but a pill. I mean, the quick fix is simple. It, we're in America, it's, it's drugs, it is surgery, it is injections. It's quick, it's fast, etc. And that works for acute pain. But for chronic pain, the data is unequivocal, it doesn't work. You have to look beyond the tissues. What's in their environment? What's in their social life? What's in their psychological life? You have to look at the whole patient because anything can ramp up the nervous system. One in five people in this world, something trips the alarm system, and then that system just keeps running and running, even though you remove the nail, which we call chronic pain or persistent pain. And now the minute you experience pain, it starts tying into your thoughts, your beliefs, your expectations, your experiences. So pain becomes just more and more and more complex. Understanding that it's okay to be in pain, okay to say you're hurting, because I think as a kid growing up, I never wanted to say I was hurting. I'll never forget that feeling of everything finally making sense and coming into fruition, like, I was right. The brain produces opioids 50 times stronger than what you can get in an emergency room today. And we turn this brain on with things like movement, sleep, nutrition, stress reduction, all these really fantastic ways of doing it, but it takes longer, and there's the catch. Until you actually experience that, it's always conceptual. And when they start to gain hope and they start to gain change, then they really start to understand pain. And it's no longer pain misunderstood, but pain understood. And that really is the pathway to recovery.